All right, everybody. So I'm out here doing some pre-spawn bass fishing. Still doing that uh, RLDL bladed bait challenge where you can throw any type of bladed baits. So I'm doing jackhammer and big spinners again. Uh, as you can see, shaved beard, one with a little Seth fighter look, mullet and mustache. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it for, but I thought it was hilarious. So hopefully you enjoy. Thanks for watching. So since this place is so small, I don't even know an acre acre and a half something like that i'm just going to target anything that looks different all these brush piles if i can get on that side i'm going to try to attack the brush piles all along the edge brush piles there's lay downs uh even though they're probably not up in them they're probably around them and uh they're just trying to find structure right now ambush points they're setting up for pre-spawn mode they're going to start getting up shallow and really crushing things uh so that's what i'm going to target is anything that looks different it's not very deep here uh when you cast it all the way out in the center it's probably like eight to ten feet deep but then most of it's you know four feet so i'm gonna let this spinner dip down a little bit oh gosh getting peppered i'm getting bit out there but it's probably small fish this big spinner kind of weeds out the small ones, and I like it. But yeah, what I was saying is I'm going to let that spinner dip down a little bit, and then just slow roll it back. There we go. Little guy. Skate him on home. Man, he really hammered that. Little tiny guy. Spinner baits as big as him. Thanks for the battle. All right, so I'm getting a lot of bites there. Time to throw out the old jackhammer. It's a little bit smaller, but way heavier. So I kind of got to burn it a little faster than that spinner bait. But I just got multiple bites out there on that spinner. Oh, goodness. There we go. Oh! These must be small fish, real small fish or something. Yeah. Just took off my trailer. There we go. Little guy. But wow, what a great fight. Little guy. It's kind of a bummer. I don't have any more 3.3 inches. I just got the 3.8s, 3.8 inches. Thanks for the battle. So I wish I had that smaller paddle tail. It would uh, shorten the profile a little bit, but like I said, I'm after the big ones. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fight. Oh, that's a great fight. Not even that big. Oh my gosh, what a fighter. You know, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know too many people that fish this. I mean, look how small it is, right? And like I said, the last couple of years, it was awful fishing uh, because of the dumping. Somebody dumped some stuff in here. Thanks for the battle. So this little 12-inch fish right here just gave me the fight of his life. Thanks for the battle. So where I'm getting at is, I don't know if these fish have been fished for. Definitely this year, I, I don't think anybody's been here this year.
Little guy, little guy, little guy. Popped right off. Thanks for the battle. fish crushed it shallow that fish came after it and hammered it oh what a great fish what a great fish see i like them here man they got like this brown eye instead of black oh it's just pissed on me i kind of see it better with this eye eh, not really but hey what a chunky healthy fish the eye color is just lighter here. Golly, what a belly on that one, man. Well over two pounds. I'm not gonna measure it though, cause I need something better than 17 and a half. Thanks for the battle. Big spinner again. There we go. Oh, that's a fighter. Oh. oh my gosh. That fish just put up a fight and then gave up. What a beautiful bass. That's a gorgeous fish. A spinnerbait. All right, so slow it down a little bit. Man, that's a healthy, healthy fish. Thanks for the battle. Oh, that feels like a good fish. Yeah, buddy. What is that? Uh, stay on there. Oh, that's a, that's a big one. <sighs> Look at that fish. What just happened? Oh my goodness. Look at this giant. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Guys, this is this is a massive fish. Mouth closed, 19 and a half. It's a 19 and a half. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I just caught this fish. Getting a weight for sure. Four point two. Four point two pounds. So that's like a four or five or something like that. What a gorgeous fish. Thank you for the battle. Thank you for the battle. Anytime that you can fish a small pond like this, always go to the windblown corner. There's gonna be fish there. Small, big, something. There's gonna be something over there. That's where all the food is being blown to. So they're going to come over here, and they're also going to get pushed over here. And there you go.
Thanks for the battle. Thank you for the battle. Wind blown corner. Back to back casts in the same spot, same size bass. <laughs> Thanks for the battle. Golly, man, I could do it all day long. All right, so that is how I break down a small body of water and catch a bunch of fish and try to maximize my chances at doing that. So, uh, weapon of choice, spinnerbait, chatterbait, I think they both caught even amount of fish, uh, but the biggest one obviously came on that spinnerbait and I absolutely love that type of bite. Just floating it like a UFO and it just gets crushed by a big end and it was a great fight too. So hopefully you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. That'd mean a lot. Thanks, everyone.